Hi guys and welcome back to Chasing Financial Freedom. Today a very important video. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and how we can try to predict the price movement of the Bitcoin. So here you can see some lines that I have drawn. So what does that lines mean? And if we look at, at the chart, I have started looking at Bitcoin around here. So here I was starting to follow Bitcoin today and we have seen it fall to here where I put this line. If you look at this line. So here we had one touch. Then after this touch, we moved up which meant that it was a support. Then we have a small pullback, then again up, and then we moved down again to touch this line. What does it usually mean? If we touch two times this support line, it usually means that we, we are going to go up. And here we had a small resistance and we've beaten actually that resistance and we moved up to the other resistance and here we have touched this resistance here and then we went, up, we went down and then we moved again up here if you can see. And here we have had the first resistance of the day, the biggest resistance. Here we have touched it one time, two times and we have beaten it and so moved up here. And then again where we couldn't move this uh, from this resistance we be, we were uh, we were going back down but here as you can see the highs are higher and the lows are actually lower so here we have a pattern and the moving in the in the rising direction here on the other hand we have a uh, small corrections and you can see if you can see here you can see another resistance line which is here about 35,100 35, which is the high of the day. We have the view up here so we are under the daily view up which is actually a good news which means that usually we should be able to go up here but then we had a reversal and we were moving down here so and here we had the low of the day so here we're moving today and if you want to predict the price of the movement you have to look at this char uh, chart pattern and here we can see if you look here we can see forming a small another small resistance and this resistance if you look closely is a little bit higher than here so if everything goes according to the stock uh, the pattern we should see a move up and here you can see we have uh, we had a small support line which we had a touch here and here and then this line acts as a resistance so here are the lines where you can actually trade Bitcoin and all the other stock stocks that are based on Bitcoin for example if we look at Bitcoin and an hour, moving an hour, you can see here again that we are under the highs. So we have still a lot of room to move up. Here you can see we have a strong, strong support line, which was the resistance before. And here at around 30,000, we have or resistance that uh, support line that we have touched here once twice and three times so and here you can see again Bitcoin is not the same as stocks but we can see something in common and that the high is here at about around forty one thousand dollars and the low for this time is around forty four thousand so we are still going up and we are moving slowly. So based on the, these charts, you could probably see that because we're under here this average of around 50 weeks. 
it could be safe to assume that we are going probably to move around somewhere here so in our opinion based on this line again this is not financial financial advice but based on these charts we can probably predict that the price is going to move somewhere here we don't know when but we will probably see it happening then something again very important for bitcoin we can see a correlation uh, correlation with s p 500 and even with the us bond us government bond for 10 years if you look here we had uh, this is how the government manages how these bonds yield and you can clearly see here that we have an uptrend of the bonds which means that money becomes harder to to get it is ex more expensive expensive and so you can expect that uh, less money is going to go into the stocks less companies are going to be able to afford loans so we should it would be safe to assume that here we should probably see a correction here we can see a triangle and it is probably going if everything goes according to the chart we are probably going to see another increase in the stock in the bond yield so this is very important even for bitcoin because when usually when money is cheap or when there is fear people tend to go to bitcoin or when there is a rally in bitcoin people go to bitcoin and to look at these other types of event investments here we have the s p 500 trust ftf um, etf trust and we can see here that we are moving up here this is this is a day chart and here you can see here was 24th of february 2020 when we were at the high and here you can clearly see that we are moving up and we are we are up the average which is the, the 20 week average here you can see clearly that see here we're moving here and then we have the low and the low and then we moved up again and if you look closer we are still seeing a pattern here and here and here so we are definitely going up we are moving up for the moment and here we are going after the high if you look here and if you look here for the bitcoin bitcoin with usd dollar bitcoin uh, it's here okay bitcoin versus usd and let, let us look at a full featured chart here you can clearly see it is a one day chart and here you can see how the stock uh, how the not the stock but the bitcoin is moving so here you're seeing what you're seeing here we have a pattern moving here and we have another pattern moving down here so we are probably going to move somewhere around here if you look here we're going probably to move somewhere around here until something